The mid-90s brings another referendum. An ice storm hits Montreal. Patrick Roy storms off the team. But the city itself experiences a financial and cultural renaissance. All right, this is Saint Laurent. This is a very important street in the story of Montreal. This is the street that divides east and west. That, for the most part, still divides French and English culture. But also, this place is littered with places for bands to play. Bands that are part of the new Montreal sound. Bands like the Deers and the Stills and Arcade Fire, and of course, the Sam Roberts Band. What cultural factors uh, play into, you know, the rise of so many great bands? Maybe, maybe toiling away in obscurity for, for years gives you uh, a pressure-free environment in which to create. You know, all roads are leading to Montreal for independent rock, it seems. We knew, and the cool people in New York and Los Angeles knew about it, but that was it. Now, all of a sudden, flash forward a couple of years, and Spin Magazine publishes a map, literally, of St. Lawrence Boulevard, talking about all the bars yeah. to go to. Many a night watching a hockey game in Montreal, the crowd was not from Montreal. They all made the drive to this city to watch a game and experience the nightlife. Tons of rock and roll bars, places like this. And for me, when I was 18, exactly this place. If you talk about uh, Simple Plan, or if you talk about the stills that come up there, have defined it, Arcade Fire, have defined them. And these are groups also where you've got Francophone and Anglophone up on stage singing together. When we'd start rolling in Toronto or, or Vancouver, and people are like, have you ever heard of Malajib? They're a great band, you know? They sing in French, but people really, really connecting with them. And there's certain things, I think, where we put politics aside. And whether it's when you get on the ice or you get on the stage. And those are moments where we show what we can accomplish when we're working together. I think everyone get, gets along. They just scream, go, abs, go, you know? It's, it's, it's not French, it's, it's not English. It's just go, abs, go. And in cinema, Quebecois and English Canadian filmmakers are collaborating on box office hits. Hostie de Calis. <laughs> in Lord of the Rings, you know, I wore the old beat up white uh, classic uh, Montreal Canadiens t-shirt or I would wear that under the Aragorn clothes. It gave me a, just a little more power with the sword, I think. The Rocket. Things have to change! When I decided to, to do The Rocket, I already felt that he meant more. Uh, that his story was more than just the story of a hockey player. Boris Richard inspired me in everything by his way of wanting to, to win and to be serious about it and passionate. He's my hero. It's a privilege for Rene and me this morning to give you this ride in the world. Rene and The hockey game I remember best with my father, Maurice Richard, being applauded for like 10 minutes. It, just the energy in that in that room uh, really, really, it reinforced the strength of this team in, in, in our, our local psyche. Maurice Richard, quand il lance, l'Amérique hurle. Quand il compte, les sourds entendent. Quand il est puni, les lignes téléphoniques sautent. Quand il passe, les recrues rêvent. C'est le vent qui patine, c'est tout le Québec debout qui fait peur et qui vit. C'est l'excellent. We have the greatest team, the greatest food, the greatest art scene. What else is there? Well, there's also great festivals, or comedy, fireworks, and of course the jazz festival. That was like the first real show that I ever did, and it was in front of 125,000 people. So that was amazing. And just a vibration in Montreal, you know, the, the, uh, the, the environment, uh, the language, the different cultures mixed together. One of the things about Montreal that has really added to its culinary culture is that the immigration it's had has brought with it these fantastic flavors. When I first came up here, it took a long time for my food to come to the table. You know, coming up from the States, you know, they sit you down, get you the food, and then you're out of here. But up here in Montreal, it's an event.
before this was a movie theater, it was a hockey stadium, and I truly believe that uh, the uh, 24 Stanley Cups that we have, or uh, the, the spirits of them are absorbed into this ground. I think we should bring the spirits of Jeffrey O and Richard. I would love to entrap some of their ectoplasm and spread it on the ice in the new form. And while the spirits did take a while to find the new arena, legend has it they arrived at the Bell Center when after a long battle against cancer, Captain Saku Koivu returned to the ice. I was at that game where he made his return, and anybody who doubts his heart, just look at what he's done and what he's accomplished. Not only for what he's done on the ice, but also what he's done off the ice with his charity work and stuff like that, yeah. And I say with some of the bands that played and, 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 the, and the foundation. The headliners were Great Big C, who uh, are from uh, Newfoundland. We basically offered our, uh, uh, you know, our services to anything he wanted to do. And, uh, Sam Roberts, who's a local uh, rock and roll guy, and uh, they set the, the tone for the night, which uh, was, a, was really a lot of fun. We had a great night, and uh, uh, we've raised some money. We mutually respect each other's efforts to make the local community better. I want to read a passage from your book um, where you talk about the, the, this team being a, sort of a metaphor for Canada, a fine example of different ethnic and linguistic groups working together to achieve great things. Language and cultural differences never cause problems between the players. And then you go on to say you're always proud to be a Canadian and a Canadian. You know, and, and well, it's exactly what, uh, what I mentioned in my book. Uh, and it's, that's, the, that's the story. Ladies and gentlemen, the Montreal Canadian Hall of Famer. When you had English guys uh, like Ken Dryden and you had the French guys like uh, Guy Lafleur, the flying Frenchman out there, they were one. And when they were one, we were one. And that was a great reminder of what we could be. Everybody can work together and, and be successful and uh, you know, a place where people could look and say why it can't happen in other areas. We've managed to coexist for, for hundreds of years, whereas you never would have thought it possible, you know. Uh, if you came from old world Europe, that, that you'd see French and English people coexisting like this. And not just coexisting, but, but using that, the differences between us to make, in my mind, the best city in the world. There is something so passionately unifying about a love for hockey and about a love for the Montreal Canadiens. The Montreal Canadiens as a sports franchise are the way much of the city, but much of Quebec speaks to the world. We resonate with people in Montreal, which is a very mixed island of, of people. Uh, we resonate with people in the province of Quebec, with Francophones, Anglophones, different places in the Maritimes, uh, in Alberta, in BC. And uh, so I think we're a, good, we're a good bridge for the whole package. The Montreal Canadiens, 100 years, 100 stars. And it's always important to remember, it's not just the names on the back, but it's also the crest on the front and the faces in the stands. No matter where you go around the world, people are wearing the red, white, and blue. And even, yes, even the most ardent Habs hater has a begrudging respect for the most storied franchise in NHL history. And trust me, as a Toronto kid growing up a diehard Habs fan, I know all too well how hard that can be. Thanks for watching. I remember the 50th anniversary of the Montreal Canadiens. I was just a kid, but I'll never forget watching on television the Rockets scoring goals in that great year, 58-59. Well, 50 years on, 100th anniversary of the Montreal Canadiens, and the country is still as excited as ever. Happy anniversary to the Habs. Yeah.